Okay, what's the problem with the engineering in India? Uh, we were very clear that it has to be a big problem. Uh, what do you think would be the salary of a B.Tech commercial? Super dream average would be like just north of 20 lakhs would be a boy. See, what's the problem with engineering in India? What jobs are in computer science? Mein, and is it worth it? Today, we will talk about Rajesh, se, the founder and CEO of Calvium. Rajesh has been building companies in higher education for almost one and a half decade now. And today he runs Calvium that is changing the college degrees just like Function. So welcome to Venture Podcast ke Season 2. I am Pratesh, your host and founder of Function. I have run multiple companies, raised, burnt capital and I have shut startups down to pay lua, learn kia and succeed bhi at almost everything that the startup and business world can offer. And this Go Venture podcast, a friendly reminder on sabhi hacks and strategies ke liye, jo zaruri hai, grow karne ke liye and to achieve your dreams. Lastly, join our group in the description to share stuff, start up networking with like-minded folks and thank you for all the love and comments that you share. It means a lot. So, hey, hi Rajesh, welcome to the podcast. Sure, Pratish, pleasure. So, Rajesh, when we were last baat kar na, you were telling me how uh, Sunil Handa uh, ka jo session hai, that changed a lot of things for you in your life, right? Uh, I remember there have been a couple of, couple of books for me, maybe. Uh, meri puri, and, and then uh, I had a mentor. Uh, meri puri life trajectory changed, right? Uh, so, I want you to, uh, I want to hear you. Can you talk about how and why that mindset shift happened for you after that session? Oh, sure. So, um, fresh out of grad school and you're still trying to get your head around ki life mein kuch banna hai, todna hai, taadna hai, and all of those things and you're already high, flying high after a very successful few quarters in your job. Your, your boss is like saying this and that and all of those things. Uh, but somewhere along you know that you're not really... It's uh, fun, but what do you do for years and years? It means that you have always been able to do it for yourself. Come from come, like... Uh, family background it's not so much into like business and all but I've seen a lot of my relatives who have been to business I'm talking about 2008 when starting up or startup was not so much a vocabulary in folklore so mm-hmm. to speak of so and uh, when you keep looking for something or the other which will potentially egg you push you nudge you and I think it's very uh, I think it's probably providence right uh, we both Venkat and I we were destined to be uh, listening to Handa sir and probably uh, we were also in a state of mind to uh, latch on to anything that will give us that escape out of a job that we were in. Uh, I think it's a combination of multiple of these things. We were looking out for uh, despite whatever good trajectory that we had. On top of it and, and Handa sir is like phenomenal. Like, I don't know if you've heard him speak and uh, he's very hard hitting. Is very uh, to the ground. Matlab, kuch aap, uh, you can't explain anything to him. Like for instance, uh, he asked me questions like, "Okay, what is stopping you from starting up today?" And I said, "Idea nahi hai. So idea kaise aayega? Tum kam karoge tabhi to aayega. Kitna time spend karte ho idea pe? Sir, weekend pe karte hain. So weekend pe karoge to weekend business karna hai kathme. Fir uske baad bolye, theke sir, abhi education loan hai. Uska thoda matlab sort karna padega. Theke kitna bolo? Sir, itna itna hai." He actually immediately picked his checkbook and wrote a check and hmm. chalo, kal ja ke naukri chhodo de check le lo. Wala yata ye to. <laughs> Zata hi ho gaya. <laughs> then the whole thing about sir, kuch experience ki hai. Hmm. Hume bola, uh, uh, this is almost like a 30-40 minute uh, personal conversation with sir after a morning walk uh, that we had gone out on. And it's almost like everything is like he's so raw and, and so full of intent. It's not so much about uh, putting down your job or anything, but when you know you want to do something more and all those reasons that you tell yourself, after some time maybe, after I reach certain milestone, after I sort ABCD things, and that 30-40 minute conversation essentially made us realize there is no end to how much we'll keep postponing this decision of starting something on our own 
एंड दैट एसेंशियली वॉज वॉज द वॉज द यूर का मोमेंट उसके पहले भी वी ऑफकोर्स यू कीप रीडिंग बुक्स यू रीड कीप रीडिंग आर्टिकल्स अबाउट स्टार्टिंग अप समवेयर अलॉन्ग यू डोंट रियली मस्टर ऑल द करेज ऑल द ऑल द गट्स इफ आई कैन टू टू रियली क्विट एंड स्टार्ट एंड एंड दिस वॉज लाइक थाउजेंड एक्स कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑल कमिंग टू यू इन थर्टी मिनट्स एंड बिफोर यू नो वट हिट यू यूर कैंड ऑफ ऑलरेडी मेड अप यूर माइंड की बाइक छोड़ देते हैं बहुत हो गया ये नाटकबाजी once you get there you just uh it just keep starting up again and again and again and that's exactly what happened with you right uh you kept starting up and building companies back to back is it was yeah, that yeah. right so so the thought process is again like uh, uh honestly the what pushed us to start off was do something on our own create something of significant value both uh, uh, for ourselves as well as for the larger that we cater to that was the by and large motivation even but once we are on the trajectory what we realized is at every point so you keep doing checkpoints with yourself that am i doing enough am i doing is the trajectory satisfying enough and and are you also in line with what the reality around you is uh um, has the world moved on those sort of things right so uh, if you look at all of our entrepreneurial ventures have primarily been in the same landscape it's all in the higher education mm. employability enhancement talent supply that's been the theme but at various points when we would look at uh, specific opportunities uh that we thought we should capitalize on we would have pivoted and for good or bad i don't know if it is good or bad uh when we pivot we don't really uh shut the previous one and start something on our own uh we'll rather let executives run that previous venture for us and start this all over again uh, probably uh, mm. we just joke about it hum log ka matlab zero one ka nasha hai zero to one journey ka mm. nasha chada hai we don't really mm. like going after that one to 10 or 10 to 100 is what banker and i keep joking about uh, because zero to one is a lot more fun right i mean shuru shuru mein to stress rehta hai ki kya kare kaise kare If you've done it a couple of times, then it's so much more. You know the knack, and and the charm of doing something ground up is always more exhilarating. Um, and and mm-hmm. that's essentially what kept us going. I mean, if I have to count, there are uh, almost eight ventures in the last fifteen years. Uh, five of them didn't work. We have shut them too. Not not that everything uh, uh, have sustained, but two of them have sustained and. and they been run very well by executives we still own the companies but uh, zero operational involvement whatsoever It gives those entrepreneurs entrepreneurs who today turn become uh, entrepreneurs also a lot of uh, headroom wiggle room to like run it as though it's their own company usme maza zyada aata hai so to we just letting it go i think aise to sabko sunna chahiye sunil handa ji ko but uh, i want to talk yeah, about yeah. um yeah yeah sure so, but then i want to talk about face right uh, you wanted you were speaking about face prep i believe right uh, the company that you started and now has hand, been handed over to uh, executives right uh, but you're not involved in face anymore right it's now renamed to face prep i believe right so uh, ye company chal kaise rahi hai how's face prep running yeah uh, it's like this right whoever are the executives that are running the ventures for us have been with us for a fairly long time uh, first principles mm-hmm. of how we operate are very straightforward right uh, always do good by the customer um, you can take a penny or two loss but you will never short change customers you'll always respect uh, folks that are internal to you much about uh, the kind of monetary benefit or impact that their role or job may have so certain of these key uh, dictums have been very central to how we have, we have operated as entrepreneurs and whoever has come on to be uh, running including face prep the first company right uh, mm-hmm. uh, in fact kartik raja who is the ceo of face prep has been with us for almost 12 years now he joined us in the mm-hmm. uh, second third year of our operation and he practically has grown with the organization so so he knows the dna of what it is that we have constituted as uh, founders 
and and from there on it's been almost like a very seamless transition um and if anything uh, thanks to his ingenuity the companies have grown uh, facebook has easily been growing 20 30% uh, year on year if not more barring the uh, one covid year where overall everything was a slow that first wave wala otherwise it's been like a very steady trajectory uh in terms of if you're asking me how does uh, the management control work i think a lot of it is uh, on a on a systems that we've been we've put when we were running the company and those systems have evolved uh, to keep pace with uh, previously it was a lot of uh, mm-hmm. manual systems if i will today is a lot of digitization that has happened but first principle is still the same monetary control around how uh, decisions get taken are also same first principles does it make sense can you do it yourself can you do uh, more efficiency driven ones almost everybody at the top has a very clear profitability focus so they're not working in silos that ticket the sales wala ja ke top line badhayega operations wala ja ke matlab delivery nps dekhega aisa nahi it's all uh, it all converges and it's it's a very i would say almost getting to a vector aligned organization you never get mm. uh, attain perfect vector alignment what i believe it's always a process there is always going to be churn there is always people going to come in and go out and all of those things but because the core of it is uh, kept been intact the respect of people coming in and going out it's been like a very uh, steadily maintained ship with a 45 degree slope at least if not more got it got it and uh, covid days ke around uh, i believe jab hum baat karte last year you and your co-founder both on break right उसके बाद यू डिसाइड के चलो भैया एक और कंपनी चालू करते हैं राइट एंड बट दैट टाइम यू डिसाइड टू अगेन टेक अ लीप ऑफ फेथ इन एजुकेशन एंड स्पेसिफिकली हायर एजुकेशन व्हाई यार इन फैक्ट वेंकट नायर थॉट अबाउट टेकिंग अ ब्रेक एट द एंड ऑफ द 10th ईयर मार्क 2018 19 <laughs> के आसपास मतलब मोटा मोटा सोचा था कि मतलब थोड़ा एक पॉज <laughs> लेंगे आगे के 10 साल का सोचेंगे देखते देखते ऑलमोस्ट कोविड भी आ गया था एंड वी प्रैक्टिकली डिन गेट टाइम टू टेक दैट लॉजिकल डिसीजन सो इफ नॉट द टेंथ ईयर ट्वेल्थ ईयर आफ्टर आर ऑन्टरप्रनर जर्नी स्टार्टेड वी टुक दैट ब्रेक एंड वी सेड अभी थोड़ा सोचते हैं स्ट्रॉन्ग हार्ड प्रॉब्लम सो सो बींग फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन्टरप्रनर यू स्टिल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एस्पिरेशन एंड एंड फेम रिलेटेड एस्पिरेशन दैट यू थॉट यू शुड अटेन Uh, when you can call yourself arrived in that sense in life in that sense right so mm-hmm. fortunately in our previous ventures wo sara matlab tick box ho gaya tha aslo sara ki majority matlab sort ho gaya tha in some sense uh, then when we thought about ki next kya karna hai uh, we uh, we were very clear that it has to be a hard problem and and uh, in all fairness uh, we were not very sure about education to start off with शुरू शुरू में तो मतलब सोचा कि सब कुछ देखते हैं एक बार ही तब तो मतलब पूरा वेब थ्री ये वो सब बहुत मतलब लॉर्ड ऑफ हॉट एंड हैपनिंग सेक्टर्स भी चल रहे थे इन 2021 इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्यू वीक्स ऑफ मियांडरिंग अराउंड मल्टीपल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स वो भी हुआ देन व्हाट वी रियलाइज्ड इज इफ यू वांट टू स्टार्ट समथिंग अ फ्रेश एक कोई नया सेक्टर नया पता नहीं क्या है ऑल दैट विल ब्रिंग टू द टेबल वुड बी आवर ओन बिजनेस एक्यूमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्ली हायरिंग पीपल रनिंग अ पीएनएल दोस सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स but the equity that we have built uh, in a specific segment will all go for a toss so uh, while we were tempted to explore a lot of these new age things in that sense what didn't make sense was what will give us the right to win ka koi clear uh, response nahi tha when venkat nai would sit and mm-hmm. deliberate uh, almost weekly basis we'll just deliberate on multiple ideas wo kahin kuch kisi se baat karta tha kisi se kuch read up karta tha aur ya ye karte hain i'll do something we'll keep going across mm. ideas mm. here and there uh, but somewhere along we realized that this is not making sense and and uh, almost like a chance conversation with one of our uh, large enterprise partners uh, we're just sitting across the table and talking yeah when will this whole employability gap ever get solved is what the whole conversation mm. started out with this uh, air executive and and we started thinking to be fair 2000 9 may when we started we used to attend these conferences where we talked about industry academia gap and it was almost like 2021 maybe kuch online jo bhi event hote the usme bhi dekho to wahi chal raha hai 12 13 saal ho gaye abhi bhi matlab kuch kuch solution nikla hi nahi hai 
then we started digging deeper into what potentially uh, has been going wrong and it suddenly dawned upon us the previous two ventures that we were running essentially have been only trying to do a patchwork of whatever gaps that were there in the entire value chain um, and then it dawned upon us that in a utopian world a student should come to a university uh, pick a program of his or her choice and then go through a three or four year very exhilarating and energizing journey so that at the end of the journey he or she has enough skills clarity on what is that he or she wants to do and find opportunities of course at both ends it will be competitive competitive aspect notwithstanding mota mota every student should be able to find his or her calling and then do things but uh, mm-hmm. when we started digging into why is that not the case and and sub- subsequently multiple other things uh, it occurred up to us as this is almost like a never attempted to solve problem where university apni jagah uh, hai ki matlab yaar hum to aise hi karne wale hain we are preparing students for the rest of the life i'm not even getting into the semantics of whether the curriculum is up to date or whether uh, uh, the the pedagogical interventions are good or right or not it was almost always uh, it was almost a, a situation where uh, everybody i mean that's true for any other sector and segment also mm-hmm. but some of them sectors have progressed faster and have made peace but fortunately unfortunately uh, higher education or education itself overall has been kind of steeped in uh, history around what, what do you think so will continue to work sort of a thing a uh, couple of reasons education is uh, is like a fundamental right now right and uh, by virtue of that it's also regulated and whatever regulated mm-hmm. has very limited scope for innovation outbreak in, in newer ideas and all of those things agar aap soch ke dekhenge to kisi bhi college mein kisi bhi university mein while the person that is teaching can be of a different caliber what gets taught is similar if not same uh, b tech computer science aur kahin kahin dekha you go to the iits the same 34 40 subjects maybe certain methods are on what gets taught is different you go to a new newly started com- you know a college in like some far remote college corner of the country same thing so what we realized is because of the regulated nature and the way the whole thing is also been playing out it's almost impossible for uh, anybody in the who's inside the system to potentially look at any drastic step change around how university education happens this juxtaposed by the fact that there is no much incentive for somebody to go do massive disruption because the consumers of the outcomes of these university system which is the industry also seems to have made peace with the fact that university mein itna hi hone wala hai so so when mm-hmm. the entire value chain seems to have settled to the whatever is the outcome as the ideal or the probably the best then where is the motivation for anybody to go and disrupt or change themselves mm-hmm. or question themselves i'm not saying nobody is doing it the handful of uh, formal education institutions which have tried to go and upset the traditional set methods of doing it invariably find a lot of resistance across board both internal and external to them and sooner than later they start pitering out on their vision to what i know personally know a lot of promoters of institutions who wanted to fix this uh, for better but invariably end up running uh, rough weather into either the team that they put together says that yes this is not allowed sir regulation wise kar nahi payenge ye wo karke chhod dete hain and and every entrepreneur even if a university promoter is an entrepreneur at the end of the day right he also has certain limitations around the amount of energy he or she has to fight a battle uh, probably uh, that and, and mm-hmm. it's just very systematic Uh, and hence unfortunately things have not moved and that's a massive hard problem we thought we could potentially solve uh, and the confidence that we had to even attempt this uh, solving this problem was that uh, by virtue of the previous ventures we worked with close to 2000 institutions engineering colleges universities predominantly we've been part of multiple almost all uh, large scale projects that at a state, state level or central government level that would have happened from an employment employability or even a Uh, mm-hmm. external intervention to the university education system kya ob kya tech world bank funded projects to ministry of education projects to everything so reasonable understanding about how regulators think operate uh, bureaucracy works wo bhi thoda samajh mein aata tha and the second company that we started we worked with 500 plus tech companies so understanding and access to all the powers be gave us the confidence that maybe we should give this a shot 
of course when we were deciding obviously we didn't have the whole thing thought through figured out but uh, the equity that we had in this space and the kind of prior success uh, confidence that we had uh, essentially uh, edged us to edged us to uh, pursue this as a problem to solve i also think that what's happening now ki higher education wala space mein uh, jo investment hai a friend investment itna high hai <coughs> itna heavy hai for the promoters of the universities at least ki jo risk taking capability hoti hai jo ek entrepreneur lekar aata hai that changes the whole ecosystem and all wo capability aapki low ho jati hai once you put in the capital there is very limited amount of risk and most of the capital is personal capital agar aap jata hai universities dekhoge to to then that risk taking capability automatically drops you want to return on that uh, investment that you have done and uh, what has happened is that uh, At least आज से दस साल पहले की बात करें तो गेटिंग रिटर्न ऑन दैट कैपिटल इफ यूर ओपनिंग अपन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आप इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज खोलो एंड ट्राइन टू गेट रिटर्न ऑन दैपिटल स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्योंकि हर हर किसी को इंजीनियरिंग करना था एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू बी एन इंजीनियर एंड स्टिल वॉन्ट्स टू बी एन इंजीनियर ऑफ दैट सो इट वॉज प्रिटी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड वंस यू स्टार्ट सींग रिटर्न रिटर्न ऑन दैट कैपिटल दैट यू इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टेड आप सोचते हो पहले मेरा कैपिटल रिकवर हो जाएगा uh the same old habits that the universities have been following for a long long years uh i think that's where the whole industry jo ecosystem hai na higher education wala needed more entrepreneurs to come from outside uh who didn't have to invest in starting up colleges starting up uh, and then be able to they just had to invest uh, invest in the time their whatever capital and all to change ki colleges perform kaise karte hain aur bhai hame capital nahi lagana that was much needed and that is where i believe the new models that have come up एनर्जी and build to even push yeah. through is what it is right unfortunately and hence i think new age models are, uh, are the way to go yep yep and ek average outcome from higher education ki baat karte hain rajesh aaj ke date mein especially uh, from a conventional college uh, what do you think would be the salary of a btech computer science fresher graduate in india and outside india and also very advanced bahut hi difficult question to answer hai kuch average karke kuch hai nahi but still matlab very commonly asked uh, we also get that a lot ki ek average uh, computer science graduate hai uh, btech karke nikla hai uski salary kya hogi india mein and outside india see i think uh, statistics right the word close to 5 and 1/2 6 lakh students do go to btech computer science uh, every mm-hmm. year entry to hota hai and uh, close to about uh, 35 lakh students get into bca bsc computer science if you just take the tech लर्निंग प्ले एंट्री की बात हो रही है एग्जिट तो मतलब मान लो एटी परसेंट पास आउट होते हैं बाकी का डिग्री नहीं बनता है इफ यू लुक एट द ऑन द डिमांड साइड लेट्स फॉर ईज ऑफ कन्वीनियंस कन्वीनियंस ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन फुट द मक्रॉस फोर डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑफ टेक और टेक अलाइड जॉब्स माई बेट इज देर विल बी अबाउट टेन टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड जॉब्स विच आर इन दैट ट्वेंटी लैक कैन ऑफ अ ब्रैकेट सुपर ड्रीम कंपनी जो बोलते हैं गूगल हो गया माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हो गया बड़े बड़े बीस लाख से ऊपर वाले देख लेंगे आई में जाते हैं एन में जाते हैं बिट्स प्लानी में होती है ट्वेंटी लैक्स वुड बी अबाउट टेन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड जॉब्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन द गुड बैड ईयर दैट यू ग्रेजुएट इन बेस्ट ईयर्स लाइक द पीक ऑफ हायरिंग वॉज है माई सेंस इज अबाउट फोर्टी थाउजेंड बट दैट्स द पीक This year, and all we're seeing massive recession mm-hmm. in that sense on that front also. Next year would be about six to fifteen, sixteen lakh wale. Just me, apke by and large, uh, India startups and uh, some of these larger consulting firms, IT consulting firms, are there. That number would be, uh, I would imagine, another fifty thousand. Sixty uh, mm-hmm. best year one lakh, uh, worst year. 40000 50000 that range this includes your tcs or all these big it service companies who do these premium hiring 
ऑल्सो उनको भी मिला के बता रहा हूँ थर्ड टीयर इज यूर मास रिक्रूटमेंट विच इज आई एम ओनली टॉक इन द कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट आई एम नॉट टॉक बीपीड मास रिक्रूटमेंट जाएंगे तो मतलब like this year is bad it's still about close to 100000 is what my guess would be tcs infosys mm-hmm. vivo uh, and the startup e services companies well, linkedin mein chhanenge to there's almost about 35000 companies in india which offer these uh, it services and have a cto as a designation I'm just doing some mm-hmm. random search some other day best years would have the number would have been about 4 for four and a half lakhs tcs itself hired close to like 100000 people made made 100000 out of it what not right that's the broad now below this so this is like in that 3.5 to 5 uh, that range if you look at below that there is also a tier which is largely very very small startups which pay like 2 2.5 that number will be i would imagine slightly on the lower side maybe 20 30 40 000. so if we just stack the whole thing up If you do a very simple average, I would imagine the average salary will be in that five and a half, five, five, five and a half lakh. Yep. yep. It, if you correspond this to uh, universities and college tiers, a uh, non-IIT, non-NIT, non-premier, top 200, छोड़ देते हैं. If you look at that, like maybe 300, just to be liberal theory. 301 वाला कॉलेज से आप मतलब 3000 वाले कॉलेज तक देखेंगे बीटेक के लिए और बीएससी के लिए सबके लिए देखेंगे. I would imagine the average will be in that. 3 3.5 because bulk of the bottom of the pyramid gets uh, 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 serviced by the 300 one onwards kind of colleges that's where I mean if I were to just make an educated guess that's where I will put the average figures of the job market to be yep. I know, it's, it's it's really sad मतलब it's really sad given the fact that कि you're investing say around 10 lakhs in your education and uh, you're getting uh, 3 lakh salary or 2.5 lakh salary uh, which is like आप आपने जितना education invest करा उसका ही 25 percent 30 percent आपको you're getting paid out right but uh, and also one more fact that gets ignored a lot by students is that uh, a large chunk of these students will uh, remain unplaced. right will not get a job that that's uh, also a major problem statement but theek hai i think ek aur ek aur cheez jo i think rajesh jo bar bar aisa puchi jati hai and, and again one more and this one's also a weird question uh, but chalo ye to entry level pe baat ho gayi right uh, what is very hyped up about is that uh, software developer ne kya hai ki salaries bahut tezi se grow karti hai right and uh, to again it might not be a right question uh, but ek software developer india mein kitna kamata hai इसका भी कोई सही जवाब नहीं है आई नो फॉर फैक्ट शायद सवाल भी सही नहीं है बट आई एन वेरी कॉमनली आस्ट हम इज डिज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर इन इंडिया मेक इट्स अगेन दोस फोर टीयर्स राइट अगर कोई टीयर 1 में है सो वी टॉक कीप टॉकिंग टू आवर टीयर 1 कस्टमर्स बोथ एट कल्बी एंड द प्रीवियस कंपनीज वेयर दे विलिंग टू ऑफर फॉर फॉर एन एसडी 1 स्टार्ट्स ऑफ एट 20 25 लाख एसडी 2 गोस टू 50 टू 70 लाख एसडी 3 होते होते that magical one crore figure bhi ho jata hai but that's like super small extremely small uh, segment of it on the other end if you look at uh, large it services people who spend even 10 years don't go beyond like say 12 13 14 lakhs this is what we have seen so it's a very wide spectrum while the trajectory depending on the segment of company that you are in will massively vary aap matlab tier 1 टेक में गए तो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ 90 डिग्री लिफ्ट ऑफ फॉर यू टीयर 4 में गए तो मतलब कहीं नहीं जा रहे हो आप मतलब इट्स लाइक अ वेरी फ्लैट टू इन्फ्लेशन एडजस्ट हो गया तो बड़ी बात है सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग गॉड बट स्टिल व्हाई व्हाई आई एम वी ऑलवेज वंडर्ड अबाउट डिस्पाइट दिस व्हाई इज देयर सो मच ऑफ चार्म अराउंड टेक जॉब्स सो मेनी ऑफ अस स्टार्टअप्स आर स्टिल ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व फॉर दैट tech job prospect either as boot camps or, or through various things uh, uh, it's primarily again in comparison to tech as a sector the other sectors are not as lucrative right uh, mm. while while on if you are on linkedin you keep showing about how it service companies salaries have been same 3 3.5 for like 15 years now uh, while the others have uh, been varying differently like engineering jobs Uh, I remember 2004 when I finished uh, uh, engineering. 
people joined uh, core engineering companies at about 1.82 lakhs tcs uh, was paying 2.1 lakh 2.2 lakh to the four today if you go to the big it services they still pay 3.5 whereas engineering jobs salaries have gone up to 7 lakh 8 lakh which seems commensurately uh, uh, different ratio wise percentage wise i'm just talking about engineering education engineering jobs non it ki baat kare the fact is like the volumes that get consumed by it vis a vis electrical engineering core electrical engineering jobs it's no comparison few thousands if not mm-hmm. more uh, at best few few very few tens of thousands of core jobs are out there right which pay that 7 lakh 8 lakh kind of jobs uh, in relative terms uh, the other industries are not as comparable at all uh, people today talk about how doing a bcom is much better than doing a btech in some sense i fully agree to that provided the college from which they are graduating out of and the opportunity that those colleges attract are of that particular stature so it's not and and hence this whole crazy uh, rush at least previously it was only in south of india now it's pan india where engineering college har jagah khul gaye hain engineering seats har jagah ho rahi hai there are these deemed universities private universities which admit north of 7 8000 students just in btech computer science in one year Yep. all of those things are happening primarily on account of the charm that the sector still has and i would believe it will still continue to hold I mean, just the way the world is moving statistics notwithstanding uh, of current year slump and this notwithstanding uh, tech will still keep moving the world and tech jobs will still keep happening is my strong view and and i would imagine uh, uh, the charm is not going to of course there is going to be like swings ye saal thoda matlab tech ke liye thoda kharab tha sabke liye jo it was bad across board it's been mm-hmm. a bad placement year p schools are struggling commerce schools are struggling as an ki only tech has taken the beating uh, as what it is if you enjoyed this it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe and share your thoughts reviews and i guess you want join our group in the description and dobara milte hain next discussion mein